Hi guys, so I'm sitting in my car. It is 27 degrees outside and I am by myself. Today is Friday and fun fact, um, recently my work decided on doing 10 hour days, four 10 hour days, and I was able to have Fridays off. So I currently work Monday through Thursday and have a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that means come summertime, I'm gonna be able to actually go yard sailing on Friday. So I'm so excited about that. Um, and then obviously today is Friday and there is a rummage sale at one of my favorite uh, places that I go to go to the rummage sales. And uh, typically, I'm only able to come on Saturdays, and Saturdays is $3 to fill a bag. Um, and I typically usually still find stuff on Saturdays, but today is Friday, so it's $5 to fill a bag. So a little more, but it might not be as picked through as it usually is when I come on Saturday. But it did start yesterday, um, but obviously I was working, and Thursdays it's $10 to fill a bag. So. Um, I'm hoping to find some stuff, but we'll see what happens. The doors open at 8. It's currently 7.51, so I have a little bit of time yet. But um, yeah, before we head in, I also just wanted to make mention again. I did start a Instagram account for this channel here. It's called Shell Bell Thrifts. And typically, I'm just like posting on there some pictures of things that I see while out thrifting or out yard sailing and things like that, that like maybe, you know, I don't buy um, and just stuff, you know, that I thought would be like interesting to share with you guys. If you're on Instagram, if not, I mean, it's not like the biggest deal. You're not like missing out on some crazy thing. It's just pictures, you know, that I want to take of some things. Uh, but Instagram is free if you are at any and all interested in signing up so you can um, follow me over there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to hop off of here, get my stuff gathered uh, together so we can go in here and do some shopping. So let's get going. I typically start at the shoes, but we've got some lucky brand. They're kind of worn there on the fronts, but they're definitely cute. A, B, E, O. Those look interesting. So a lot of wear there where like a sticker was. It's kind of a turn off. Let's go look at the purses first. <laughs> look at this. Burberry. I keep finding Burberry. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that would be cute. You put it out under the bed. I think it slides out. It's like a you a put drawer. this. Yeah, you maybe put it under the bed, and then when you get under the bed, you can slide this drawer out, so you can store stuff in it. Yeah. American Eagle. Oh wow, this looks older. Check out that purse. It's definitely vintage. What's that say? Can't read what it says. It's pretty dirty though. So I'm going to set it back down. It's a little Victoria's Secret thing. What's this? Theo Bigelow. This probably came from like a Bath and Body Works gift set. Probably. Yes, but <laughs> I can't believe I found burgery. Holy crap. Right off the bat too. Monogrammed. Oh, that's a really pretty interior with a floral. Let's go over here. I'm gonna get back to the shoes here in a bit. But I just kind of want to look at the purses real quick. Just make sure I don't miss anything. This looks like an older bag too. What's that say? Just F made in England. This is 
interesting looking. Feels like leather. It's by a company called Davies. the ties then I don't typically find ties here what's this this is, this is a shirt don't know what it's doing over here in the bathing suit I mean it feels like bathing suit material but it's not Charlotte Bruce, Stacy Adams, Red Wing. It's a pretty expensive brand. But these are Bostonian. That's good, but I'd be more inclined if they were wingtip. Cause I don't know how, how far I'm filling my bag yet. If I have room, I might consider putting some other stuff in. I'm looking for it. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Where would it be? These are cute. Main Woods. Those are cute. Look at these little cowboy boots. How adorable are they? After the clothes, I'm gonna pop over here. I like looking at this table. It's usually like beauty stuff. I found things before over here. Pasher. my bag for now. What the heck is this? Made in France. What is that? Is this perfume? It is. I'm going to put that in my bag too. Trophy Dad of the Year. Oh. Chunky cat. What's this? Looks like a water globe of some sort. I'm gonna 
over to the other side. I always feel like I'm on the wrong side of the table. But you also kind of got to look underneath too. Like here's a bunch of planters. I like this little sheet back here. Let's be a little more careful now. Bory. Has anyone heard of that? I have to look that up. Mom has one of these. You put like your scouring pad in there when you're doing dishes. Deluxe Royal Light Christmas candle. Looks like it's missing the top bulb part. I'll let you in here if you want to go. Okay. <laughs> I'll go on the other side. <laughs> I don't want to get too close to anything. It's just stuck all over the place. like this. I wish Eric were here. So I had an extra set of hands. <laughs> this was that mug that was in the thrift store. Cause that's where I am, I'm at the rummage sale of that thrift store I was at. Remember I showed you guys this? And I was like, isn't that the most interesting looking mug? Couldn't figure out what it was. I think they called it an ugly mug is what it was called. Which makes sense. Thompson Pottery. Some 
buggy eyes on Jesus there. What's this? This is like an old box. Can you take it apart? The Curious Cross. Huh. It's like an old puzzle from 1971. I might stick that in my bag. Down here, boxes. That looks like Vesca from Cinderella. Baskets of ornaments. Okay, that's definitely not a Christmas ornament. That's funny. Oscar the Grill. Cosmic Catnip. <laughs> All right. Oh my. Oh, he is cute. Yeah, there's definitely some cat toys <laughs> mixed in here. You can decorate your Christmas tree with cat toys too. There's something in here. What is it? What's in there? Oh, it's a little Easter egg. Walnuts in there. Drop something down here. Hey, what's this? Some old Halloween ribbon. That's a really cute print. Put that in my bag. What else is down here? Just some old light, old bulbs. Red hat lady ornament. Belongs to something, but I don't see the rest of him. See, the thing is, like, when I go back and like edit my videos, I'll see things that I completely missed while I'm standing right in front of them. That usually happens a lot. Check out that mushroom. That's really cute. I don't like the frame though. Big Bird, Scarfield, Muppet Babies, Looney Tunes, oh look, Barbie and the Rockers, yeah. Some old gift wrap. Looks like 
baby shower cocktails. <laughs> I had this game. I used to love pressing that thing. So something's missing in it. Feels like an empty box. Down here. Oh, calculator. Radio Shack. Scientific formula calculator. Is that actually what's in here though? Yeah. I'm gonna look this up. Honky Hello Kitty. Oh my gosh, it's so fat. I love it. It's really, really dirty though. Here. Check it out, it's a parking meter. I guess you put your change in there like a big bank. Oh, look at this fancy kitty cat. How cute is she? She's so fancy. Oh, wow, look at her. Her hair ribbons are just really not in good condition, but it's super cute. Peppa Pig. Is this a piece of toast? Maybe not. I think it's like a monkey face or something, but I saw toast. This looks really familiar. I think I had this. Like you wind him up. Here and he plays music. House of Lloyd. 1989. It's so dirty though. I don't know if you could wash him and kind of the music box in him. I still have all the clothes to go through, but I have a lot of time, so I can actually like go through everything, which I'm excited about. But I figured I'd just go through everything else first, just so I can spend some some time on the clothes because they take a while to go through. Like older little gift card tags. Those are cute. Oh, look at these sweet Adam. Oh, Adeline. Oh, sweet for your wedding. Oh, these are cute. I might get these. Vintage sewing notions. Is there anything I must have? Be brave, be fierce. Oh, some ornaments. Sit that out there so people can see it. This is why I don't put things back exactly where I found them. So, like, people can actually find things and see them. Because if someone has someone in the military, that would be a really cute ornament for them. So, that's why you sometimes see me put things back, not necessarily where I found them. Check this out. Oh! Love that. Fun to paint activity set. It looks like there's just a bunch of random crafty things in there. There's some older Christmas 
decorations. Cowboys. When your team begins to fumble and you start to growl and grumble, then you want to give the screen a good hard kick. You know that it does matter for your TV screen would shatter, so just reach out and throw your brick. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm not a football kind of person, but that was adorable. Oh, these are so cute. Look at those. Faith and love. I love those. <laughs> it's little salt and pepper shakers in a wagon. I don't think they actually belong there. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. It's like actually made from a tree. A little covered wagon. What is this back here? Oh, it's like a little hanger, but it's missing all the knobs. It's like a really old baby crib playpen. Really old. Beef. So what's for dinner? Alright, I think I'm going to start going through the clothes and I don't want to bore everybody with that, but if I'm starting to find anything, I'll turn the camera back on. All right, this right here is a score. This is a vintage Gunny Sacks prairie dress. Oh yes, I'm getting that. It'd be awesome if I found another one. I've never found one of those before, but I know that they can go for a lot. J. Jill, full of cat hair. <laughs> Hi guys, I am finished at the oh my gosh, geez. fill a bag rummage sale. Um, I did end up filling two bags, so my total bill was ten dollars. Now tomorrow, if I would go, it's three dollars to fill a bag. Um, I'm gonna edit this out. I apologize. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I got. I ended up making friends with this little old lady and I will probably like keep our conversation at the beginning a little bit in there. Um, she was asking about a storage kind of under the bed organizer type thing and she was just the sweetest thing. I ended up getting a bowl of chicken corn soup while I was there and she sat down with me and ate a bowl of bean soup and it was just so sweet to talk to her. I don't have any uh, grandparents left that are alive anymore so being able to talk to someone elderly is nice because it's just it's so sweet to talk to them and I'm sure they're really lonely and I'm lonely too so it was really nice to talk to her and then after that I did go to the thrift store that is in the same building as the rummage sale so I'll show you the three things that I picked up there um, I didn't record while I was there so come summertime um, you'll probably see my yard sale like I'll have yard sale hauls and yard sale vlogs on Fridays where I'll just be alone because Eric works on Fridays. And then come Saturday, I'll have yard sale hauls and yard sale vlogs with him. So um, it's going to be a very busy summer and I cannot wait for it. So I was thankful that I did have an, a rummage sale to go to today. So I will share with you what all I decided to pick up. The fun thing, the fun thing about um, doing my haul after I get back um, in the car and ready to do the haul, I forget what I even put in my bag, so it's like a surprise when I'm going through my bag. So the first thing that I did find, and uh, you guys, I keep finding Burberry like everywhere I go. I found this little vintage Burberry. This is like a thing to hold keys. It's like a key holder thing um holy crap that's dusty in there but you see these little hooks here you can like hang keys and stuff from so that was a pretty sweet find like it's just kind of crazy how often I find um 
Burberry items. So, yeah, I got that. One of the first things I found that was super cool. Another awesome score, because I have never found one of these before in my life. And I have been yard selling and thrift store shopping since I was like a teenager. So, this is a really awesome score. I found this vintage Gunny Sacks prairie dress. Oh, this is so adorable. It's got lace here along the collar. There's some like velvet here. And I know it's going to be like super hard to show you guys exactly what it looks like. But I would definitely have that put up on eBay. So I'm really excited for it. Um, oh, and it has someone's name in it. That's so fun. She must have loved this dress. I can't tell what the size is anymore. So I'm going to have to like actually lay it out and measure it and all of that good stuff but oh my gosh i huh, these dresses are very 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 sought after like incredibly sought after they have such like a cult following amongst people so i was so excited to find this oh my gosh so that and the burberry wallet i'll make way more than my ten dollars back off of that so the rest of this stuff is just random stuff um some things I just buy because I like it, you know, not necessarily to resell. So I did get this. This is so soft. It's just a long sleeve kind of sweater by Cable and Gage. It has like this oversized neck and it's gray. Kind of has um, just that rough edge stitching like there's pockets here on the front. So just something um, soft and warm that I can wear. I wouldn't say I'd just wear this to work, but I work around chemicals and even though like we have to wear smocks to protect ourselves and our clothing, I still am, end up getting holes in all of my clothes. I have holes all over the bottoms of my jeans. I have holes in like all of the shirts that I wear and it's just so upsetting. So I never like to wear nice clothes to work because I know I'm just going to get them ruined. So I probably won't wear that to work. <laughs> Um, this I thought was super cute. I don't, like, I didn't look up brands and stuff. Like, I don't know if these are worth reselling, but it doesn't really matter to me because I like them enough to just buy, to possibly wear myself. But this is by a company called Max Jeans, and it's just this denim, I don't even know what you want to call it, just kind of like an over, uh, not necessarily a shawl, not necessarily a cardigan. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, but it's just this long denim, basically shirt, duster. I don't know. I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. It's been a long morning and I have so much stuff to do when I get home. It's ridiculous. But anyway, put that in my bag. Let's not dwell on stuff for too much. Uh, I put this dress in my bag merely because I could tell it was new um, because it still has these little like extra um, spangles, beads there along the color, but it's by a brand called Boston Proper. I loved the Aztec print of it. I thought that was really pretty, and yeah, I might just, when I go to rummage sale, some of the stuff just ends up on like Poshmark and things like that, because it ends up really not being much as far as resale. I just buy um, same with this. This is just something I'm keeping for myself. It's by a company called St. Tropez West. And it's just like a basic light purple shirt. It's kind of got a high in the front, or high in the back, low in the front, high low kind of style. I threw two ties in my bag. This first one is this really pretty purple um tie from Bugatti is the brand. Bugatti. I know we just got a Bugatti shirt at a thrift store not that long ago. I haven't listed it yet. And then this one is vintage. It totally reminded me of Harry Potter. And it just looks like that on the back. And this is by a company called Nadelson's. Woven in England. Oh, it even has like an old tag here an old price tag of eight dollars but i just thought that was cute reminded me of harry potter so i put it in my bag i 
I threw, <laughs> sometimes I throw randomly, like random things in my bag. Just this Nike mesh drawstring bag. It had this uh, set of kids um, Under Armour soccer shin guards, which didn't really have much of a resale value. And they were used, like the Under Armour logo was really scratched off of it. But they were in this bag, so I just took them out of the bag and took this bag. Um, I'll probably just give it to Eric and see if, like, he wants to use it to put, like, I don't know, like, I was thinking, like, his dirty gym socks or something in when he goes to the gym, so, who knows, but I threw it in my bag. I got this men's vintage, uh, cologne. This is by Cody, and it's called Iron. I guess, like, pumping iron, raw. Um, but... It smells nice. It smells it smells vintage. <laughs> so it's still pretty full as well. Like it, it hasn't been used very much. So it's filled in there. I also found another perfume. I didn't realize what this was at first, and I still don't exactly know what it's supposed to be. Like a rocket ship or something. Oh my gosh. That was a good catch, Michelle. That almost went. Whew. Anyway, it's on this like black wooden base, and then it's like the liquid but it's perfume. So it just says it was made in France, made in France. And it says, oh God, Eau de Toilet. I'm trying to, Hom Venti Lol. I don't know. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, um, look it up to find out exactly what it's called and that kind of thing if, if it's worth anything I don't know but it was interesting enough that I just threw it in my bag okay so in my second bag I got this men's Willis and Geiger Outfitters 100% alpaca sweater and this was made in Ireland. This thing is super heavy, but really, really soft. So um, I got that. What I did look that up while I was there, and it seemed like it had decent um, solds. This one is for myself. It's just St. John's Bay, just kind of like a floral top. Looks like this. It's hard to see, I know. I got to try stuff on. I don't know. If it'll fit. Oh, this is another like little kind of cover up deal. But I thought this was so cute. Very boho. It's by a company called Taylor and Sage. And it just has this really pretty embroidery all along the back and then along the sleeves and then down the front. So just something you would wear. Like you can use it as like a beach cover up or even just like over top of like a tank top and shorts or something like that in the summertime. So I just thought that was really cute. This I got to sell, I didn't look it up, um, but it was a size 2X to 3X and it's by a company called Ro Rodeo Fox. And I thought it was really pretty. It's just got this gold kind of design along the neckline and then it is just a lace material and then it has these really pretty bell sleeves so I thought that was super pretty so got that to sew this did not have any kind of tag in but it feels so nice um it feels like silk and it just has this like chevron kind of striped print and then on the back here it's got buttons and like I said, there are no tags other than this random tag in here saying it's polyester. It has a date of 313. That's like the only tag I see. So don't know what brand it is. I can probably maybe check the RN number. Does it have an RN number? It does. So that should be able to give me a brand. But yeah, do that in the bag. This is just for myself. It's a Jessica Simpson gray top, just long sleeves and has this like, um, kind of like sheer bit here along the neckline. This is a J. Jill button up. 
This is not J. Jill. This is H&M. H&M button-up shirts. So just threw it in my bag. Same with these guys. I don't think, like, the brand is anything real good or anything like that. But it was two of the same shirts, so I figured I'd lock them up. But it's by a company called W5. And they're just tank tops. But it's really cool because they have these little fringy bits here on the bottom. And then this one is the same thing, except it's yellow, but it has the fringy bits on the bottom. So I thought that would be cute to lock up and try to sell. That's everything for the rummage sale. Um, not a whole lot of like super good stuff, but um, like I said, the Burberry key holder and the gunny sack dress, like well made up for the fact that I spent the $10. So I am excited for... What I got. And then, like I said, I stopped over at the thrift store. And mainly, well, one, because it's a thrift store. Come on now. And two, they give you a dollar off coupon when you're at the rummage sale to use at the thrift store. So it's a dollar off a $5 purchase. So I ended up getting... This is a brand new Callista Tools Perfector Heated Paddle Brush. So this was an amazing find. I only paid... Five dollars for it but if you want to say I use the coupon on this it was four bucks so that was a really awesome score and it is still brand new in the bag and I know Callista tools at least they used to be expensive I have some uh, curlers from that brand that I had got my mom got me from Ulta like years ago and they were really really expensive so I I'd assume this would be two um, I don't know if I'm selling this yet or not. I might just keep it for myself. I haven't decided yet. Um, I also got this Dimensions Sunny Days Angel Quilt Cross Stitch. This was $2 and it has never been used. It comes with everything you need to, to make it. And I saw these listed for about like 50 ish dollars, which... Some older cross stitches definitely go for a lot of money. That's why I like picking them up. But thrift stores are definitely catching on to it because you used to be able to get um, cross stitches at like Goodwill for super cheap. And now they price them like 4 or $5. So um, this one was 2 but still really good find there. And then the last thing I got there was just this salt crystal candle holder i have a salt lamp um that actually plugs in and then um it has like a little thing at the top that you can put essential oils in um i have that in my computer room but i liked this one because this actually just holds um tea lights so you can just stick like a tea light in there and burn it um, so I liked that and I thought this would look really pretty um, along the side of my tub. So when I'm taking like my lush baths, I just thought it would be nice for that. So that is why I got that and that was $2. So I thought that was a really good find. I know these things used to be super duper duper popular um, when they first came out. I don't know if they're still as popular but um, I still I still like them. So that is everything for my rummage sale haul. I hope you guys liked it. You'll have to let me know what you thought like my best score was. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.